This is Twit. Um, so, hey, I heard that you like your music streaming app to be more like TikTok, Micah. That's the word on the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I'm yes anding. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, that, uh, that I'm sure those that's never happened. No. That someone has thought, hey, I need my music streaming app to be more like TikTok. No. But yet that's where we are. Spotify obviously thought that's what we wanted. Um, now, I should say for the record, I have not gotten on my phone this update yet. Oh, good. So I do not have You're the, safe. have not had the opportunity to the test pleasure, it out on my own, you mean? the pleasure to indulge in, um, in the changes here, but maybe it's, maybe it's a little much saying it's like TikTok Cause maybe that's not necessarily exactly what it's like. It's not like suddenly there's a bunch of people recording random things and, and, uh, lip syncing the songs or whatever it is people are doing on TikTok nowadays, which is everything. But, um, <laughs> But The Verge wrote all about Spotify's new design direction. And, uh, you know, I'm, I got to admit, I'm a little concerned. Spotify's my music app uh, now. I used to be on YouTube Music for the longest time. And uh, I think the final straw, because it's it was never fully satisfying, but the final straw was when we got our new car, it doesn't have any sort of integration with YouTube Music, but it does with Spotify. Interesting. Yeah, very strange. Huh. And so we're like, okay, well, let's test it out. And for the most part, we've been pretty happy. Um, but, you know, when it comes to the app, I feel like the app has, uh, at least in my experience, been pretty good at just kind of getting me to the music, which is kind of what I want out of a music app. It also doesn't make um, like videos, like music videos. It doesn't try and force that okay, on you, okay. which on YouTube music, I felt that all the time. I felt like there was always an opportunity to switch over to the music video. And to be honest, as a, as a parent of children who, you know, I, I wanted to kind of like reduce the, mm -hmm. um, the desire or the temptation to suddenly, you know, find themselves stuck in, mindless zombie watching video right. screen land z z um, over and over and you know over, i would yeah. dis disable the music videos but it's but it's really easy for that to to get back on i just want a music player because mm -hmm. that's what i want to, you know for myself and for my family just to listen to music so um spotify has been trying in recent months to kind of and actually in recent years to make itself more than just a music service right mm -hmm. Um, they have the podcasts, uh, that have been a big deal the last couple of years. They've got audio books, even live audio, which is a world of Spotify. I'm not at all familiar with. I didn't even realize that until, that until reading this article, <laughs> but the redesign, the app itself, um, uh, prior to the redesign has stayed pretty true to its original purpose. I would say you open it up, you get your music, you play music. Great. But now what we're seeing is it's moving a little bit further away from that core purpose because it's got to kind of justify and hopefully make money, make, you know, continue to make money for the company out of all these other facets of business that it's getting into. So the core home screen of the app is going to surface now, not just albums and playlists. Uh, if you think you're going to want to listen to those, those are going to be up the top, thankfully. So you're not going to have to search for those right. for now. Uh, but under that autoplay videos, video podcasts and Instagram style photo stream, things like this coming to Why? the Spotify app. Um, because I think that, I mean, I'm guessing here and, and the verge kind of guesses here too, but they have all these other facets of their business that they're trying to promote. They're Got trying it. to get people to use and interact with the thinking I, I imagine is if we place these little nuggets in front of you, we have the potential of kind of reeling you in, you know, that's a, that's an interesting, uh, video, uh, podcast. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll watch this video podcast through your app instead of through my RSS mm -hmm. uh, feed or, or audio books. Oh, I didn't realize that book was on Spotify. Great. Um, so it's all about kind of discovery of the many things that Spotify, I guess is doing right now. Um, but yeah, um, I, I don't know if it's recouping costs, you know, that there's been news in recent months about Spotify's podcast bet not being quite as good <laughs> for the company as yeah. was once kind of assumed. Cause it seemed like they were flush with money to throw around to the Joe Rogans and, and everything to bring them into the network. Yeah. It seemed like, Oh no, they're going to take over podcasting and uh, what happens, you know, in the, in the dust, you know, that's left behind. And it seems like that, that plan isn't working perfectly for the company. Right. Maybe this is a way to kind of like reinvigorate is to, 
you know, present all of these, all of these things that you have p- perhaps willfully been ignoring mm-hmm. <laughs> up until now. Mm-hmm. But so I don't know. There's a, a, but also you did mention a couple of weeks ago that AI DJ yes. functionality, which, you know, was another aspect. That's like a, using the technology to do something that's actually pretty appealing. Absolutely. In fact, just, uh, just a couple of days ago, I was talking to someone who's not steeped in technology, who is not, you know, a techie person. And he had mentioned that he had, uh, that, you know, he was talking even independently of me. I was listening to him uh, speak with some other people and he starts talking about the DJ thing. Oh yeah. Spotify just added this and we got into a conversation about it. And yeah, he was excited and was enjoying how much it was tuned to his taste. Interesting. And how it like, it, it almost, it was, uh, it's like when you feel seen, when you yeah. feel seen and you feel like someone knows you and they're hearing you. Yeah. And yes, of course, it's an AI, so it's not real. But it does have that sort of uh, invigorating feeling of, oh, wow, someone gets me. Yeah. And the music this was, works. you know, was good. I like that a whole lot more than let me put a bunch of things in your way while you're just trying to go yeah. listen to music. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, it just makes that home screen, the the screen that opens up the very first when you open an app it makes it just a lot less useful yeah, to me it makes yeah, it less it's useful busy because it's I not just on? open the app to do the thing i want to do it's open the app to explore and to see what's what's hiding beneath it really it almost reminds me less from the screenshots and the kind of the idea of it reminds me less of TikTok and more like YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like when I open YouTube, right. The main page, yeah, that main page on my phone specifically, it's like a constant, you know, ongoing stream of, Yes, there's some things sprinkled in there that are, you know, maybe networks or channels that I follow. But then there's also a lot of like, we think you would like right. this or yeah. recommended that you watch this. And like, I don't even interact with that because like I, I go there very specifically for either a search that I have in mind or I'm a channel that I already follow. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Am I a curmudgeon that doesn't want to be like recommended to? Maybe. But I, I, don't know, I don't think I like it. Yeah, <laughs> in well, and that's maybe if it was just recommending new music, yes, and it was that doing I it in behind. a way that right. was it didn't try to. It's the fact that it's obscuring everything that yeah. you normally do with you Would for, do with as it. long as you've used Spotify. Anyone out there, you've been able to launch the app, do a search, or right there on the main page, even get to what you had just been listening to. And now it's confusing. Where do I tap? Where do I click? Where? Yeah. What? How do I get to the stuff that I just want to listen to? Why is all of this stuff in the way? It's just, yeah. it's noise. Yeah, noise. Not music. Noise, not music. Ooh, that could be a Write title. Write that down. <laughs> yeah, that could be a title for today. Uh, Spotify's noise, not <laughs> not its music. Um, yeah, so, you know, Casey Newton um, on Twitter had shared uh, his enjoyment with the AI DJ functionality saying, that it was a great way to kind of like, like you said, be seen, but go into the catacombs of his yes. history and resurface things that at one time were, you know, he was listening to a lot. And then over the course of, you know, years and everything, those songs fall by the wayside. You forget about them. They fall deep within your like liked list. Yes. You know, of, of thousands of songs and you very rarely hear them and that this thing kind of resurfaced them. Those are features that, that would get me, you know, that get me excited because I'm all about rediscovering music. I like I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes about recommendations. Like if you truly know my taste and you think I'm going to like this band, sure. I'll check it out. But, but that's, that's even not the reason I open Spotify right. 90% you didn't of the time. Open it for those, I know what I'm going for. Yeah. See, and that's how I use my, so I, <laughs> I'm ridiculous and have multiple I do use Spotify, and I think that's probably why I'm less bothered by the recommendation part of it, is because Spotify is that DJ, even before Mm -hmm. the DJ feature. What I liked about Spotify is that it did a better job of algorithmically offering new music for me to listen to or for me to just hit play, and I don't ever have to touch it again. Whereas Apple Music, that's the place that I go where I have all of my albums and I've got them all how I want them. And I can go when I'm thinking, oh, I want to listen to this artist or, oh, I want to listen to this specific album. That's where I go for that. Oh, interesting. Whereas Spotify, so Spotify has, is more like your radio. Yes, precisely yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And um, unfortunately. And that, and that explains why you were so excited about the, the DJ. Yeah, DJ. absolutely. Because yeah. uh, it's, it's exactly what I would want. And oftentimes when I am listening to Spotify, that does happen. What Casey Newton was talking about going back and going, 
oh, I forgot, oh, I forgot about, about that about song. This and then jam. I go on Apple Music, I look <laughs> up the it. artist, and I add that album. <laughs> yeah, so it's great all around. It, it's a great music discovery feature, yeah. but I don't want it to be a video discovery feature and yeah. a podcast discovery feature and an audio book. To, no, no, yeah. leave me alone. Yeah, things get <laughs> cloudy then. But anyways, we'll see uh, how that works out for Spotify. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and I am the host of Hands On Photography here on Twit TV. I know you got yourself a fancy smartphone, you got yourself a fancy camera, but your pictures are still lacking. Can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means? Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that, too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today. Hey.